So anytime there's money changing hands, you're always gonna have to be on the lookout for scammers, right? If you've ever sold anything online on Craigslist or you bought something off the street, you always have to be careful about what you're getting, who you're dealing with, and driving for Uber is no different. Harry here for the Rideshare Guy, and today's video is actually a warning about Uber scams and hacks to watch out for. Now, I've seen a huge increase in the number of emails that I've gotten from drivers, and they're all reporting people pretending to be from Uber and calling them, asking them for their email login credentials, passwords, and more. Now, this isn't thousands of drivers that are emailing us, but you know, I would say that it's a few here and there, and so it's definitely the most important thing to keep in mind though, it's a lot more than I've seen in the past. I used to get very few emails like this, if ever, and now it seems like almost on a weekly basis, I'm hearing from at least one or two drivers who this has happened to, and it's a pretty scary situation because you guys work hard for your money and to lose it all at the hand of a scammer and then have to deal with Uber to maybe or maybe not get it back can definitely be frustrating. So I wanna give you a little warning what you should look out for and also what's happening. So. There's a few ways that this can really go down, but typically what happens is that you're gonna get be driving for Uber, you get a ride request from a passenger, and then you get a call from someone claiming to work from Uber. They'll ask you to verify your email, sometimes they'll ask you a security question, like verifying your pet's name or your mother's maiden name, and then may also say something like, you should cancel the ride that you're on and we'll pay you anyways, or something like that. Now, the thing that you have to realize is that when a passenger requests a ride, they can now call you, right? And what's happening is that a lot of these scammers are posing as riders and then now that they have access to your, well, they don't have access to your direct phone number, but they can call you through the voice over IP number and they're pretending to be Uber that way. And since a lot of drivers aren't as familiar with how the system works, some of them are unfortunately falling for it. So there are a few red flags though, if this happens and what you should watch out for. Now, the first thing is that Uber and Lyft won't call you ever almost to tell you to cancel a ride or ask for your login credentials ever, right? They're never gonna call and ask for that information. Now, Uber and Lyft primarily communicate through email, through in-app messaging, and if they do ever call you, it probably is in response to something. Like let's say you get into an accident or let's say there's some type of safety incident, Uber may give you a call. Now, if you're ever unsure, you don't wanna accept that call or you're not sure that it's Uber, you always have the option of calling them back on the 24 seven support line and getting your help that way. So that's definitely one thing that um, you know I would watch out for and keep in mind. Now, a couple other things, right? If you're ever called by one of these scammers, they typically, you know, these guys know what they're doing, right? And typically, yes, they are guys that are calling um, most of these reports, but um, definitely watch out. It could be male, it could be female. I don't know that that really matters. And what they'll do is they're gonna pressure you into revealing your info. And usually they play up to your vanity or your strengths. They might say, hey, guess what? You've earned a bonus. Or if you help us or if something like that, you'll be eligible for a bonus. Or you're one of the top drivers in your city and we're going to now reward you. Right, so they do that to establish a little bit of trust, and now you're feeling good, right? You're not thinking that you're about to get scammed, you're thinking that you're actually going to make money. So, you know, these scammers are smart, and they may also say that, you know, I've heard uh, in some of these situations, they'll say things like, We're calling to verify it's you because we've gotten reports from riders that say you're not the one driving your car. And of course, you're going to say, I'm Worried, right? Oh, no, no, that's me. I want to prove to you guys now that uh, that's me. And right, all of this is really, though, designed to distract you and to get you to hand over your info. Do not fall for it, right? In many cases, you know, Uber has refunded some of the money that's with, been withdrawn from a scammed account, but they won't do that every time and there's definitely no guarantee, right? Uber has sort of said that, you know, if this happens to you, don't fall for it. You need to watch out for it. So I definitely think that, you know, you guys got to watch out for these things. Now, I don't think this is happening super frequently, but if you do encounter a situation that smells a little fishy, you know, most of the time these scammers, they're trying to get access to your instant pay, which is dangerous, right? Because they get a hold of your account, they can change your uh, banking account info and instantly withdraw your day's earnings, right? Or maybe they're trying to get access to your email, right? If they ask you for your Gmail password and then a security question, they might be resetting the password on your account and then logging into your Gmail and now they can use that to access your Uber account. So definitely some things to watch out for. If you are scammed, immediately contact Uber. You can call the 24-7 support line. It may even be a good thing to call the critical uh, safety response line if you're getting scammed. Let them know what happened with as much detail and pass as possible. And then, of course, change your passwords. Contact your bank to see if there's anything funny um, and maybe change your passwords there. So hopefully this video helps. And if you guys do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. We release new videos every single Tuesday and Thursday. So um, with that, that being said, look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Stay safe.